Welcome to and welcome back to iHeartRadio Canada today, hanging out with the man of the hour, Kane Brown. How are you doing, bro? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm grand. Nice. <laughs> the new album, Different Man, has dropped today. It's your third studio album, 17 brand new tracks. How does it feel now it's out in the world? And, and you know, what, what has the process been like from planning this album and, and actually having it re released and out there in the world? uh it's a huge relief to finally have it out my fans have been asking for years now um i honestly thought that i was just going to be the guy that lives off singles i was like albums are done uh but they've been killing it recently so i i figured why not put out an album um we got 17 songs on it started writing it in 2020 2021 got some songs from 2019 like i love country music and it's just been a really fun process of finding myself, finding out how I wanted everything to sound and what to put on it and what not to put on it. Does it get any easier as, as the albums, you know, come out? I mean, from, from the debut one to, to now, does the process get any easier or does it actually get harder? Because it's like, oh, I've got to follow this up now. I've got to, I've got to build on what we've already done before. Um, I will say that for me personally with like, releasing music like grand like if that's if this was me five years ago i would have never released grand it would just be on hold or somebody else would have released it so that that part's easier i think the harder part is finding songs that that beat your the songs you've already released to throw on an album right yeah can you guess which track i listened to first take a take a guess well let's see scenarios i would think that you would listen to bury me in georgia first if you're going to get the album but I feel like you had interest in going and finding the song with me and my wife. So I'm going to say, yeah. thank God. Yeah, track seven. Thank God. Yeah, just because it sticks out, you're like, oh, like, wow. Like, you know, we've seen you do big collaborations before, but like to have your wife on the album, this is like whole new, like, this is different. This is like, you. everyone wants to hear that. It's, you know, it's it's such an incredible love story. And that's what it is. And it's just, it's amazing. She has a great voice. How did that conversation happen? Was it one night in the house and you were just like, Hey, I need one more song for the album. Do you want to do it with me? Or, you know, how did that happen? No, nah, we've been, uh, we've been talking about it for a while now to get her on the song. Um, we just didn't know which one and thank God, thank God came across the table at the right time. She liked it. I liked it. It was a thing. It was, it wasn't like, and what's really cool about it is I'm not, I'm not singing it with another artist. Like, like, that's what would be weird to me. I think that's what like completes the circle is I'm singing it with my wife and it's, it's, it is like a wedding song. So there's nothing in there that's fake at all. Um, mm -hmm. So it just makes so much more sense to me, even with the music video, like everything's just uh, so authentic and real. Yeah, we actually asked to do an interview with, with Caitlin because she's the star of the album. That's who we wanted to get. But she said no. So we just had to do it with you instead. I'm sorry. Uh, no, <laughs> um and the music video looked like a real cool like fun time as well was that was that fun or stressful to film you know with your wife was how was that no it was it was fun it was it was honestly it was cool because it was our first time in hawaii together and then the, i think the only frustrating part was uh the director alex had to uh get rid of the clouds that kept coming in uh, <laughs> disrupting his shot do you normally get lucky with the weather when you go on vacation? Me and my girlfriend, whenever we go away, it rains. I don't know why. Like we could go yeah. to the hottest place on the planet, so it's always going to rain. For me, it's it's uh, you know they call it cane rain. Uh, if I'm ever <laughs> outside anywhere and we're filming, and more than likely it's going to rain. Uh, <laughs> okay. I know not to book the same vacation as you then uh, at the same time because the cane rain's coming. You were at the VMAs a couple of weeks back. Uh, what an incredible performance. First male country artist on the stage at the VMAs. You know, you're, you're, you're breaking barriers with, with what you're doing now as well. What was that like that night? It looked, it looked like a lot of fun. It was cool, man. I, I didn't know how the crowd was going to be, but they were very energetic, exciting. You could tell they, they knew me. They were talking to me and, and they were my fans out there. So yeah. that, made it, that made it even more at home. And I was just thrilled to do it. Uh, I felt like it came out great. I had a lot of good responses. Uh, met Taylor Swift, um, yeah. some other cool artists, so it was cool. You do realize you just became king of the girl dads when you got that picture with Taylor Swift, because you've got two young girls, right? When they grow up and they see that, they're going to be like, forget everything else you've done. You you know Taylor Swift? I mean, had you met her before or is that the first time? 
No, it was the first time. We've, we've been at a couple of award shows together, and I've always, like, you know, seen her there, but never met her before. So uh, it, it was cool. Uh, well, all the best with the brand new album, Different Man, and the Drunk or Dreaming tour as well. Uh, we can't wait to see a couple of those shows up here in Canada. Kane Brown, thank you so much for hanging out with iHeartRadio. Yeah, thank you, man.